guys. We showed a printed wood panel at NAMCA that a lot of you had questions about. So rather than just give you a list of steps, I thought I would show you how it goes. All right, so the supplies that you'll need, the wood panel, this can be the flat, the cradled, doesn't matter. A laser copy, it needs to come off a copy machine, inkjet won't work for this. Chart pack, colorless blender ad marker, something to burnish with. This is also from Chart Pack. We keep it in the warehouse. It's about a $5 price point, and it's nice. It has a long handle, so you have to put a lot of pressure on it. When you're done, some sort of fixative. My recommendation is the Prismacolor Final Matte. Um, gloss will also work, workable fixative will also work, but the matte final fixative will give you the best seal. So, to get started, it helps if the panel is soft. You'll feel some of them are a little bit softer than others, some are a little bit more slick. If it's a slick feeling panel, you can give it a little once over with a really fine like 600 grit sandpaper. Take your laser copy. It helps if they're fresh. So if you're gonna do a demo, maybe do them the day before versus two weeks before. Place it face down on top of the wood. Be someplace ventilated because these guys smell. And then just go over the back of your image with the ad marker. I'd recommend doing a portion of the design at a time rather than the whole board because this will evaporate and make the transfer more difficult. Use the burnisher. Shorter little strokes seem to help. The longer ones seem to move the paper all around. And you can peek up and see that it's going down. And just keep going until you get everything transferred. Once it's on there, it's dry. It's not gonna smear. Just wait for the xylene to evaporate. Once that's good, take it outside and give it a coat with your fixative. The wood will slightly darken the same way you can kind of see with the xylene once the fixative is on there. And that'll let you know that you've got a nice good coat. Give the fixative 10 minutes to dry and then you can begin to color on it. You can use, this here is all colored pencils. Art alternatives colored pencils. <laughs> this here is the fine liner pens. And if you can see where I didn't do a really great job with the fixative, the marker starts to bleed out into the wood grain, which is why I recommend the fixative coat. Oh, over here you can see I did a better job. No bleeding. And that is it. Oh, one last thing. The laser copies cannot be reused. So if you're gonna do a demo, make sure you have enough sheets for each person because after that first transfer, they won't look any different, but they won't transfer well.